Hey guys and welcome towards the scale. So Cloud 3.7 is out and today I'll show you three amazing use cases that lets you use Cloud as a bulk publisher, write 5,000 words kit stories and PDF reports like this one that you can use as lead magnets. So if you think that is something that you want to learn, stay tuned. So for the first use case, we'll use Cloud 3.7 as a bulk publisher, creating multiple articles at once. And this is possible because Cloud 3.7 has a much larger output window as opposed to the previous versions. So in my estimation and through my testing, I found out that it caps out at around 5,000 words. So let's uh, create some mockup data first in a CSV. So this is a simple mockup data. Let's go back to Cloud. So let's attach a TXT and run this little prompt. So again, we're not doing anything fancy, just testing out the outer limits of what Cloud can output. Write me five 700 word articles based on the attached TXT. So let's see what happens. And again, this is following the actual titles and the outlines from the actual TXT file. So if we open this up, the first article is called 10 essential gardening tips. And the outline is choosing the right location, understanding soil types, and it ends with basic gardening tools. And while we were talking, it's actually started to write the second and the third article. Let's check out the first one. So the first one followed the outline to the T. And this is more of a use case when you use uh, Cloud for programmatic SEO, when you need shorter articles. And it is one of the first LMs that actually outperforms the word count. So if you were to say 1000 words, it will give you 1200 words or 1300 words. So I really had to test this out and it uh, seems to be working around the same mark but the actual article is longer than that let's test it out so it's around 790 let's check the second one second one is 900 words article number three 1100 words 1200 words almost finished the fifth article gave us 1074 words so that's what i'm saying let's sum everything up so 790 plus 900 1100 1200 and over 1000 so that comes up to just over 5000 words this is the current lot for seven output limit see you an amazing amazing use case. So for the second use case, we'll be attempting to write a kid's story, 5,000 words, The Amazing Adventures of Max and the Magic of Listening. Because I actually said, write me a 5,000 word story about listening to your parents with titles and chapters. With a title and chapters, that would be a more correct description. Okay, looks like Claude has finished writing the story. Before I review the word count, please know that I am running my school community. It's half the price it used to be. It's very affordable. You get multiple courses inside of the community. My flagship helpful content mastery, an updated niche hunter course, custom tools, bi-weekly group coaching, tax communication academy, and much, much more. So come in and join. And let's see the word counts on this one. And the word count is 5,300 words, again, playing into the idea that the outer limit is around 5,000 words. So continuing with the kids' stories thingy, we can actually create a pretty great looking book cover with this simple prompt. I won't be generating 5,000 words this time around, because I want to show you the illustration capabilities. And now it has started to write a book. Look at this. This is just amazing <laughs> by Claude. Amazing, 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 amazing. Now for use case number three, and this is by far my favorite use case. We need uh, Perplexity, DeepSeek, Grok3, whichever LLM does deep research plus web. And this is the prompt we're going to run. I need a comprehensive evidence-based report on biggest meme coins to pop in 2025. Please include executive summary, background and context, trading, investing in meme coins, current state analysis, statistical data, relevant trends over 2025, at least five detailed case studies, and the practical implications for the intended audience, which is the cryptocurrency beginners. Let's activate both web and social for this one. Okay. Perplexity has started writing the report, executive summary, background and context, current state analysis, statistical data and trends, key trends, case studies, Doge, Hedge, AI Recomplex, Trump, Wojak, I don't know what that is, Controversies, Future Projects, Implications for Beginners, Recommendations, Checklist Before Buying. So as you can see, there is a lot of references, and if we are building a report, they should be in text and fully clickable. So what we now need to do is go back to Cloud, paste this report as is, and run this little prompt. Reformat the below by getting rid of in-text citations and properly anchoring external links, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, so this makes it published ready. So if we check it out, it now includes some of the more important links. But what we can do, we can take it a step further and run this follow up prompt, essentially making a pleasing guide that can be given as a lead magnet and a great one at that. And just guys, look at this. This was not possible before. A beautiful, beautiful guide. Oh my god, this is amazing. Sentiment analysis. Wow, quality indicators. This is amazing. So this was not possible before and it is possible now with 3.7. This is partially due to the improvement in the algorithm that does infographics and also the fact the output is now much longer. So what you can do, and I've discovered this trick by accident, you can download the file which is going to be HTML. And now oh, look at that. Again, admire the guide. This is amazing. Obviously, you can embed this as is. You can complement your existing guides and article, or you can do one better and click Save as PDF. And now, if you open this up, this gives you an amazing looking PDF that you can share. Yes, it's not clickable anymore, but this is just amazing. An amazing way of creating lead magnets. So, guys, to sum up, you can do bulk publishing in 3.7. You can create kid stories with book covers and you can also create amazing reports. And you can find the full workflow for this report in my school community. It's going to be available there. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you soon. Cheers.